summer parking in Vail. Everybody's favorite time to park because it's free and you can come and go all day long. And we also have paid parking at Ford Park. So 46 days this summer, if you travel out to Ford Park, you will see $10 parking. So there are some rules. We don't allow long-term storage of vehicles in the structures. 14 days is the limit. And if you're gonna leave your vehicle, it's best to call the village parking garage and let them know that you're gonna be storing your vehicle if you're out of town. Maybe you're taking a shuttle to DIA and you wanna leave your vehicle. We allow that, but you need to check in with us. Storing your vehicle long-term is not acceptable and we will tow it if it's left over the 14-day policy. Another policy that's enforced in the summer, short-term parking stalls. You will notice some stalls say five minute drop off or 30 minute limited parking. Just because it's free summer parking does not mean you can use those stalls all day long as they are still in force 24 hours a day. In the winter, some of the differences you'll see is the mad rush in the morning. Everyone's trying to park and get to the ski hill. In the summer, events start later. People come and go all day long. So it's best to check the website at velgov.com. You can click on the tab under parking and it'll show you the real time parking counts on your smartphone or any device that you may have. We also have the new variable message signs by the roundabout you may have seen, and those will be updated throughout the day. So if you're going to Ford Park for a concert in the evening, you might want to look as you come off the interstate, check that sign and see if Ford Park's full before you drive all the way out just to be turned around to go back to the village or Lion's Head. If Ford Park fills, then we'll fill the village. If the village fills, we'll fill Lion's Head. If all the garages are full, just like in the winter, we will allow parking on the frontage road. Just remember that no parking is allowed on the frontage road until all the structures are full and we will change the signs. So be sure you don't just park preemptively. Wait till we change all the signs. There will be bus services running. The express buses will run between all three structures all day long during an event. So for instance, if you were going to Ford Park for the concert but it was full and you needed to park in Lion's Head, you would park and go to the top level of the structure, catch the express bus, and it'll take you directly to Ford Park. Those buses will run until after the event is over and return you back to the structure that you parked in. Another service we provide at the Lion's Head Parking Garage is RV parking or oversized parking. You need a permit for that if you're going to stay overnight. Otherwise, you pull in and it's first come, first serve. We have an attendant out 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. to help you with that. If nobody's available, you can get our number off any of our parking equipment devices. The number's posted, call the office, and we can have a permit brought to you. Just be sure you don't park overnight in the RV lot without the permit. In the summertime, many people come in with kayaks, bikes, and rafts on top of their car. If that's you, park on the top deck. If you don't have anything on your car, please park underneath and leave those spaces for those who do have overheight vehicles. Summertime also means farmer's markets, everybody's favorite day of the week to come to the village. You may notice when you drive into town that there's a lot of vehicles parked on the frontage road. It doesn't necessarily mean that parking is full and that everybody's parking on the frontage road. As the vendors and all the suppliers to the farmer's market have permit parking on the frontage road in front of the Solaris on South Frontage Road. We have security that works the frontage road there, so be sure you check the signs before you park on the frontage road. If you have any questions about parking, a parking host will be available at each structure, Lion's Head, Bell Village, and Ford Park throughout the summer. If you don't see a parking host, the parking number is on all the parking equipment and the parking kiosk. It's free parking, but you can still get information at the pay on foot. And give us a call. The intercoms work, push the button, we'll answer the phone.